Right guys, uh, this is just a follow-up video from my uh, TP5B uh, video, um, first impression video of that bag. Uh, the bag here is the TP4B that I've got, um, and the specific reason that I bought the TP5B, uh, which is this here, is to replace the tools out of this into this. Um, I use the TP4B as a watered-down version of my Tech XL. So my Tech XL is a maintenance bag, uh, but it's a hell of a heavy, you know that. So there was a need for me to downsize. If you've seen my other video, I'll put a link up there to that one. Um, yeah, so I needed to downsize this to make a more portable uh, mini sort of Tech XL, if you like. So what I've been using this for is uh, the, the small type jobs. You know, where you have to run into a property, do a, a job that takes half an hour or whatever. And you don't need the, the full, you know, bundle of tools. Uh, so this is ideal. And it's been really good, to be honest. But... Um, when I saw that the TP5 had come out, it's just that little bit bigger, um, so I can get more tools in there. Plus, well, not necessarily more tools, but the, one of the main things I've been finding with the the way I have this one set up is it's too tightly packed. I mean, there's too much, too many tools in the bag, um, so it's it's quite difficult to get at what you need. Um, you know, without pulling out, you know, you pull out one thing and something else comes flying out. So there's a bit of a lesson there for me with all my Vito bags, and I need to not pack them as tightly. So I'm kind of hoping when I load the TP5 out with this, uh, that there will be more more sort of room. It's not necessarily more room for more tools, it's more to make the tools more accessible and take full advantage of the vertical storage system. So that's what I'm hoping anyway. So I'm going to set this up. Um, I'll, I'll load it up just now and then... Um, we'll give you a view of what I've done. Okay, just a quick uh, experiment here, really. Um, this is the TP4B, the way I have it loaded up at the moment, and it's tipping the scales at, it's just calibrating now, but roughly five kilograms for the setup here. Um, I will weigh my Tech XL later, just to show you the difference. So I'm expecting the TP5 to be around about the five or six kilograms, uh, we'll see. Which is fine, you know, for, for transporting about. Right, guys, that's my TP5B loaded out uh, the way I want it. Um, First impression, it's, it just feels a lot more tight, um, if that makes any sense. Um, there's not so much rattling about. Uh, I actually like the way the the loop holds my Milwaukee impact. Um, it's, it's quite tight there. Um, the other good thing for me is this level. The uh, last one I had, I had it on a, a sort of clip here and it was sort of walloping about and it wasn't very, you know, you had to actually take it off the clip, you know, to use it. But this... This is Stabila level, uh, I think I'll get a new one, this one's a bit, seen better days, but it actually fits perfectly into this pocket. Um, that's ideal. Um, what I like about it now is all these tools are easily accessible. I mean, I can take these out without without disrupting any other tools. Um, you know, my last bag was to anything you took out, um, even the knife, you know, screwdrivers. Other things we tend to catch it so tightly packed and pull out, you know, just... Yeah, so now, so now one of the main things for me is the way I've set it up. Uh, everything's really accessible now. It was before, to be honest, but it was it was just very tight, you know. You pulled something out and it was disrupting all the other tools. But now, um, you know, if I need my pliers, just pull them out. Side cutters. Um, you know, any of these, just pull them out without disrupting anything else. I had them set up the opposite way around the last time, and it was just causing problems. Uh, so that's the initial um, thing. As I said, if the two things I like. Well, this this tape loop's good for a start. Um, that's a that's a lot better uh, for me. It shows you how quick it is to get the tape off. You know, uh, compared to faffing about with the loop, you know, trying to unclip it and everything. But that's that's a definite improvement for me. Um, impact driver securely held. I wasn't sure, but these Velcro loops, I've actually cut mine down. Actually, it was probably about this long, but I cut it down so you can get a tighter grip on the impact driver. The only thing you have to remember to do is lock off the trigger with the impact, or it'll be, you know, going off all the time. If it gets caught in, in the loop. Um, the other thing, this level, Stabila level, fits really nicely in here. Uh, before I had a DeWalt level, that was on a clip here and it was just, uh, you know, flapping about, it was just, it wasn't ideal at all. 
Yeah, so that's good. Tape loops good. I'm pleased with the way this uh, stabula level fits in there. Um, I'm pleased with how easy everything comes out, you know, without disturbing anything else. Uh, even the torch. Um, so that's ideal for me. Um, the other loop on this side is pretty much useless for me. I couldn't think of anything to put in it, to be honest, so I've just put my scissors on the side. Again, I cut this Velcro strap down, it was probably about this long, which was too long. Um, so I cut it down and it's, it gives you a tighter grip. Yeah, the scissors are clipped on anyway in a holster, but this just gives an added, added sense of security, this, this loop. Uh, the side, uh, I've still got my small parts bag, uh, which has got wiggle connectors, some small plumbing fittings. Things like that. So, I'll do a very quick run through of, of what I have on here. Um, it's, it's not too much different to what was on my TP4B. I think the main differences are obviously the, the Fluke T90. I've added a wee uh, Weera, um, that's basically a, a rap adapter a screwdriver, you know, for, for getting really tight screws out. Uh, gives you a lot more leverage. Um, these are good. Uh, the tool check plus is hidden away down the front there. It fits really well in there. Uh, screwdriver in behind it. A couple of insulated screwdrivers. Uh, just a posy one and a, a slotted one. Uh, I didn't have that in my TP4. There was no room before. Uh, ratchet and screwdriver. Multi bit. So that gives you all the options there. Uh, ratchets from Weeder, that's good. Take that out. Um, I like the way these Nipex uh, items sit here now. They're just so easily accessible. So we have the, the pliers, the side cutters. What I've tried to do here is just keep uh, those sort of items on that side and the, the plumbing sort of items on this side. So I remember where they are, you know, when I'm just trying to grab them. Uh, wire strippers. Yeah, so we've got the Nipex plier wrenches here. Um, uh, it's two sets of the 180s I've decided to carry in this bag. Yeah, that's the most used size, uh, just through experience. But these are great. Uh, there's no need to carry an adjustable spanner now. I just use these. Uh, we've got the Nipex Cobras. And um, these are just an excellent tool to have in the bag. Um, this is a new addition, this is a, a Weera uh, chisel driver. This is the one where you just, uh, allegedly you can chip through cement and everything with these and it doesn't affect the, the screwdriver. I'm yet to try that, but, um, you know, the only real difference here is the, the shaft goes right all the way through, you know, to this, this end here. So this is a solid shaft. So, um, I, I usually call these beater screwdrivers where you can pry or, you know, hit things. You know, just just a, a screwdriver to abuse, and it will take it. You know, it's it's a strong screwdriver. Um, just a extension, a small insulated screwdriver for those the wee screws that we'll come up against. Uh, hammer, cut down to size again. Stanley Fat Max knife, Fat Max knife, uh, Pika pencil, Nebo torch. The fluke indicator, scissors, uh, obviously my parts bag, the uh, Hanson stud finder, the razor tool uh, which I carry in all my bags. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, tape and then. The front pocket, I don't have too much. I've just got my grip at marksman, and uh, these drills are really important to me. Um, I use them all the time. Uh, these are the, the drills that you know fit an impact driver. So, with this bag and the impact driver on the side, I can it's effectively drill anything as well. They're uh, multi material drills, so you know, drill through wood, metal, ceramic, anything like that. So, that's they're, they're ideal. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. As I say, there's not a huge difference between this and the TP4, but um, hopefully I've demonstrated there's more space and the tools are easily they're they're more easy to come out, you know, without disturbing the other tools. Um, it's compact. I do like this uh, holder for the impact. I like the fact that the level fits in here. Uh, again, the new tape loop. Not perfect for me. Uh, so this will now become my watered down Tech XL. Uh, um, there. So this will be the, the maintenance pair, if you like. So Tech XL for the bigger jobs. Uh, TP5B for the smaller ones. Yeah, it's actually a great deal on it at the moment, uh, where you buy any tier 1 bag uh, from Vito. Uh, so that would be tier 1's classed as, you know, the bigger sort of bag. So the XL, uh, LC, OTMC, uh, th those type of bags. If you buy one of those, you now get a free TP5B. So there's never been a better time <laughs> to buy to buy a Vito bag. Um pains me to say it, but I've actually bought another uh, uh, Tech LC. Uh, I bought it yesterday. So uh, there'll be another TP5B coming and another Tech LC. So that'll bring my total up to about 8 or 9 Vito bags. Uh, so I'll have two LCs. But the LCs, in my opinion, are, are fantastic bags. And so are these. So I couldn't resist a new LC and a new uh, free TP5B with it. Uh, so... I dare say I'll do another video on what I'm going to use that one for. Anyway guys, uh, I'll load this back up and then I'll, I'll put it on the scales and we'll weigh it and see what the difference is. Uh, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Right guys, we've got this on the scales uh, and it is topping out at 6.4 kilos roughly. 6.3, 6.4. So 6.5 kilos. Um, I mean that's me picking up my left hand no problem at all. Right guys, just weighed my Tech XL. Um, I had to use bigger scales, but uh, it was just over 18 kilos. Uh, so you can see the need for having a small mobile bag. Uh, this was, did I say, six and a half kilos, so effectively a third of the weight of this uh, when it's fully loaded. So again, uh, that's perfect. Um, this one I may need to look at, <laughs> getting the weight down on it. Um, it is such a good bag though when you're on bigger jobs. Uh, the Tech XL is great, you know. It's comfortable to know, you know, it's comforting to know that you've got most of the tools that you need on hand for any situation. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel, that would be much appreciated. Um, where I've got lots more uh, Vito uh, type videos. Anyway, thanks again. Uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.